Arthur Jones, that Republican candidate for Illinois' 3rd District, joins us now. Mr. Jones, it is shocking to hear how vocally and unapologetically racist you are. Are you a Nazi? Well, for the past uh, 15, 20 years, I have not had anything to do with any uh, national socialist organization on a formal basis. But do you call yourself I a Nazi? I did have a... I, I don't call myself a Nazi. I call myself an American patriot and statesman. Okay, well, let me give our okay. viewers some details about this, just so they can decide for themselves. You've been part of anti-Semitic groups since the 1970s. You go to neo-Nazi rallies. We have pictures of you there. You are, were part of the White People's Party. You dress in Nazi garb, and you celebrate Hitler's birthday. You're a Nazi. Well, I do not belong to any formal National Socialist Organization anymore, and I haven't belonged to one since about 1990, okay? Mm -hmm. The only organization that I belong to is my own organization, and that's the America First Committee, uh -huh. okay? Yeah. You can call it whatever you want, Mr. Jones, but your website is filled with the most vile, rancid rhetoric I think I've ever I disagree read. with you. It's not vile and rancid. It's the truth. It is? There's nothing on that website that's not true. Mr. I personally put that stuff on there. Yeah. I personally picked out the articles on there because they're true. That's now, I can't really help it. Troubling. You don't want to accept the truth. M listen, it I is can't help so it. You don't want to accept the truth. You, you Jews media, you, you've gone absolutely nuts. Mm -hmm. You think that Adolf Hitler is re, uh, revived from the grave or something. Mm -hmm. It's one man, one man, myself, that's standing for the truth. And yeah. the news media can't stand that. Mr. Jones, the what Democrats we can't and stand Republicans, is this accursed two party, Jew party, queer party system can't your stand your language it. and the fact that you deny the Holocaust. You are entitled to Yes, I to deny your... the Holocaust. Listen, it's an extortion Mr. racket. You Pure are and simple. entitled to and your if you own did any investigation, if you did any honest, in, If you did any honest mm -hmm. investigation of the Holocaust, you'd realize that it is nothing but an international extortion racket mm -hmm. by the Jews to bleed, yeah. blackmail, extort, and terrorize their enemies. Yeah. And to Here, suck us um, into one war after this, another in the Mid-East. Yeah, I was heard not this. campaigning as a National Socialist. I was campaigning as a Republican. Uh -huh. I was campaigning on the one issue that's on everybody's mind, and that's to avoid war in the Middle East. Okay. We need more wars. Sure. No, we don't need more uh, wars. Fine. We need I, more I understand. Jobs. And you call the, you call, well, I don't even want to quote you, but here's the deal. Here, you can have your own conspiracy theories. But you can't have your own facts. Not conspiracy and theory. It's a fact. Mr. Jones, the Jews controlled basically the country, Jews the Congress, were killed. the economy, Adolf the Hitler media. Hitler perpetrated a genocide. The Auschwitz death camp existed. And the Nuremberg trial Poppy happened. Cock. Those are the it's facts, Poppy sir. Cock. Either way, here's it's the a, larger it's point. A, it's a scam. Fine. Here, you, you're here, on the record. Here's, You've here's said Ford's that you don't records, believe the Holocaust. Ford's records of wow. Holocaust survivors are getting special Social Security well, benefits. Well, I'm glad that you're pinning all of your this position from, and platform from, on that piece of paper. This comes from Congressman, paper. former Congressman Bill Lipinski, yeah. okay, acknowledging Mr. Jones, Ford's listen, record were used to give them special You've been doing this for decades. You're steeped in this kind of crazy crackpot theory. But here's the larger point. How do you think that you are going to represent the people of Illinois in this district? You have 700,000 people in your district. 7,000 of them are Jews. How do you plan to serve Jews them Zionists, as a public servant? The overwhelming majority are white Christian patriots. Mm -hmm. And I might add black Christian patriots, Latino Christian patriots. Mm -hmm. so they don't just want the any Jews more wars in the like. Middle East. And the Israeli lobby the Israeli lobby controls uh -huh. the Congress of the United States and has sucked us into one war after another. And that's what I'm running against. Not mm -hmm. the Holocaust. I'm running yeah. against trying to prevent the Holocaust in the Middle East. Yeah. A couple things. Um, the Republican Party, the state Republican Party, has completely uh, disavowed you. They say the Illinois Republican well, Party and our idiots. country, what please let me speak, Mr. Jones, have no place for Nazis like Arthur Jones. We strongly oppose his racist views and his Arthur candidacy Jones for, for any public office, I was in Vietnam. including the 3rd Congressional District. In Vietnam? I Mr. Don't Jones, think so. I'm going to make my point. The um, National Republican Party has also done so. We condemn this candidate and his hateful rhetoric in the strongest possible terms. Here's the good news. You have a That's long a track Vietnam, record, Mr. Okay? Jones. Yes, you did serve in Vietnam. But something That's has right. happened Honorably. since then where Honorably. you are not I wasn't honoring a draft the people like a lot of these communist Listen, Jews that were in the streets. Here's what everybody needs to know, Mr. Uh, Jones. You have a long track record of losing. 
you lose virtually everything that you run for. You've run for Congress and you've lost for mayor, for alderman, and we're not in the business of predicting the news, but I can counts. say that you will lose Persistency this race. Persistency paid off. Now I'm you going to be on the ballot for the March 20th primary catcher. and on the ballot for the November Mr. election. Mr. Jones, we're going to go. I keep running because I'm a better man than most of those people in Washington. We'll, let, we'll see I what the voters take, think about that. I don't believe in political We'll see if the voters nonsense, think that you are the person standing for the truth, to no matter represent what. them. Arthur Jones. Uh, we heard your opinion, and we'll see what happens. Chances are you'll go down in flames.